we've got here is a 2005 RMZ 250. It's one of these bikes that's got the automatic decompression valve and these bikes tend to have uh, difficulty in testing uh, for compression, for cylinder compression. Uh, one thing, um, we had poor compression on this. One thing that we did, the first step we did was check the valve clearances. If you have a problem with valve clearances, if one of the clearances is not enough, the valve could be slightly stuck open and you're losing compression like that. When we checked the clearances, we found that one of the valves was in indeed, one of the intake valves was indeed slightly, um, you know, slightly binding and stuck open and we're losing compression through that. Uh, we selected the right, went through the procedures uh, to select the right shims, uh, installed them and that repaired that problem. But how do we find the true compression of one of these, um, one of these beasts? Um, I was not able to find anything on YouTube on how to do this. So what we did was um, I tried to concoct my own little mechanism here. If you look at this, this is the, the little decompression lever. And what it is, it's just a weight that, um, that's connected to a rod that once the engine fires and starts spinning, it deactivates. So what we're going to do is manually deactivate it by the use of a nice stiff wire. Remember, if you're going to do this, this is at your own risk. Um, we're just shade tree mechanics here. I, I got a fairly stiff little wire and I wrapped it pretty um, tightly to, uh, you know, to decommission this thing here. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to pull it off so you see how this thing actually works. I'm just going to pull off the wire. And now you can see this thing, it's when you're starting a slow kick, it's going to be engaged. And so when the engine's running, this is disengaged. So what, all we did was manually disengage it for the purpose of getting a true compression reading. So with it disengaged, I'll spare you the agony of watching me kick this thing over a dozen times or so, but you can look over here at the compression gauge and we got a reading of 170 PSI or so after about, you know, six, seven, eight kicks. Um, and you'll see that it's actually pretty tough to kick one of these uh, beasts over without the decompression valve. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope this guy helps. If you guys have any adv advice, any um, comments, um, you know, I imagine other bikes are similar. You're going to have to take a look at it. Good luck and, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Thanks.